everyone, today's video is all about organizing your ideas. When a, for a story first comes to us, the ideas are just coming out of everywhere, and this is just a way to keep them all together so when you sit down to write, you're more effective. Number one, index cards. Super cheap. You can get them at the dollar store. You can get white, you can get multicolored. Um, I like multicolored better because you can organize them based on um, whose point of view you're writing from, and that's super easy way to stay organized. A bulletin board. I have one of these, though I use them more for revisions than for when I'm first organizing ideas for a story. What I do is I, on index cards, I write down all my different plot points and I just put them on the bulletin board and that way I'm able to see everything and if I need to move things around, then I can see if it'll make sense before I start making like those big changes. Number three, spreadsheets. Excel is disgusting, personal opinion, but I do know a lot of authors who like to have um, the chapter, the scene, characters involved, the setting, description, what's taking place, etc, etc, in a nice little row for them to be able to quickly reference. Number four, Scrivener. This is a program that's available for Windows and Mac. It's great for all steps in, write in your manuscript, whether it's editing or even when you're writing. You can also use it for plotting because they have, like a bulletin board, it's a cork board. And you can put all your little plot points on there and start planning out your story. And it's right there, saved on your computer. Number five, Scapel. We all know how awesome Scrivener is. It came out after Scrivener and rather than writing software, it's mind mapping software. Basically, you write notes and you can put fancy little color code them, you can put borders around them that are circles, squares, bubbles, and you can connect all the notes and it goes on infinitely, forever. Like you could just keep going. You could write an entire saga using Scapel. You can get it for less than $20 on literaturandlatte.com. Same with Scrivener, although it's more than $20, um, worth every penny. If you don't have either of these, you need to stop watching this video and go download them. Um, you can do, a, I think it's 30 days for free and your life will never be the same. Number six, character worksheets. These are really cool because they're a, real, a questionnaire that you can use to flesh out your characters. It'll touch on things like what's their favorite colors to other things like what happened to them in their childhood. And this is great because it really gets you thinking about your character in depth. Number seven, between scalpel and now maps, my freak flag is flying. I love maps. Um, I make maps for a living. I love thematic maps. I love geographic maps. I love any kind of map. Um, if you're doing world building, maps are incredibly important. They're super cool to include with your story, which you can do with Wattpad's new media feature. You can put a map right in your story, so why wouldn't you? I'm pretty sure you can find software online that would do it, but all you really need is Photoshop or a paint program or PicMonkey. Any of those, you can make a map. Number eight, an old school outline. This is just your basic Point number one, a few bullet points describing what that scene is about. Point number two, or scene number two, and a few bullet points on what that's about. It's pretty simple, but it's great for staying organized. Number nine, music. Um, I'm getting to talk about so many things I love today, it's kind of ridiculous. Mind mapping software, maps, now music. Um, I have a very unnatural obsession with music. You can ask anyone who knows me. Um, Kurt Cobain is behind me. Elvis Presley and the Beatles are over there, and the entire wall behind me is filled with song lyrics. Um, so making a playlist is super important to me, and I think I would highly recommend it to you. Immediately after I come up with a general premise of my story and a title, first thing I do is make a playlist for that story. I find that listening to words, lyrics, and music um, absolutely ignites my creativity, and it might work for you too. Number 10, I apologize in advance for this one because it's very addictive, Pinterest. You can go to Pinterest and find visuals about anything in your story. And it, even if at first you're just brainstorming, you can do that too. You can make little bulletin boards for each of, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. It is a great way to stay organized, but you need to have some self-control because you can find yourself on Pinterest for hours. That rounds up our top 10 list of ways to organize your ideas. If we missed any that you think are brilliant and we need to know about, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please share and subscribe and tune in Mondays and Fridays for new videos. Bye.